Hi, I'm Stephen Chaffee, Services Engineer with McNaughton McKay. In this video, I'll show you how to add a Zebra ZT610 printer to an Allen Bradley Control Logics PLC via Ethernet IP. Now we're going to use Studio 5000 to add the Zebra printer to the I.O. configuration tree. First we right click on the Ethernet module, select New Module, go over to the vendor pane of the module configuration, clear the filters and select Zebra. Now that we see the Zebra printer shows up for our selection. All we have to do here is put in a name for the printer and specify the IP address. Because I've all already entered this into the program, we're just going to cancel here. Now we open up the profile that we've already put in. You can see the printer name and IP address shows up. We can set the RPI. And we look at the module info, you can see that we're live with the printer. Once we create this profile, the controller is going to put tags in the controller tag database for us. If we look at those, you can see we have a printer input and output array. If we open up the printer input array, we can see status for what the printer is doing. All the real information goes in the printer output array. We have programmed in a predetermined label into this printer and given it a format number. Here in the format number tag, we can specify which profile we're going to use, in this case one. In terms of the information that we're going to send to the printer, we go down to the raw parser data and expand that. In our pre-configured label, we put two variables. We've designated those variables FN11 and FN12. Here as we write to the parser data, you can see we specify the variable number that we're going to write to. And then after that, we put in the information that we, we need to send to that particular variable. Now we can specify the second variable, which in our case is FN12. And then the data that follows that would go into that variable. Once we've got the information in here that we want to send and where we want to send it, to actually print the label, we can go up to the sequence number and just increment that and that will print a label. For additional questions or more videos like this, give us a call or visit our website.